What is going on guys, today we have got the Footies Cup available. This is going to require a couple of matches every day to try and get this done, but it shouldn't be that much of a grind, and I believe we should get this week in, week out by the looks of it. Sometimes we do get, especially in Footies, we'll get like a specific nation, specific league for the Cups, but at the moment it looks like it is just a standard. Normally check the description of the Footies Cup or anything on the actual uh, requirements, because they may have it there, like we saw for the Premier League one where it was you've got to use 11 Premier League but it was in the small print rather than necessarily the big one with this then we've got play five which would get us 400 xp don't have to win that is a big dub obviously for the season pass we want to get as much xp done as quick as possible you get a double 83 for that we get a triple 83 for winning one match we get a triple 85 for five a 784 for seven of them and finally finishing off with 585s plus an 85 times 10 for winning 10 matches you get five a day for the next seven days so should be more than enough it will be sweaty as most definitely it is max chemistry and one maximum lone player so let's go and build the team that we're going for this obviously this one's more for gossens so if we go for footies cup and we can just call it footies so we can know what it's going to be for if this is an every week then obviously Obviously, you can just put this team in and it is absolutely golden. It is max chemistry as well. So you want to go for your best of your best players going. So in terms of goalkeeper, Van der Sar is always going to be the shout. In terms of right back, I've, I've been hearing really good things about this card. Carfu's at the minute been my favorite. Have I got anybody in right wing back that I've packed and not moved? Frimpong's always a solid shout, but... I think I'm going to go for the tried and tested. I'm going to go for Carfu, as I already like him. He's always fantastic. We're going to go for the pairing of Diaz and Militao, as they have been my rock of the back line, and same as Theo. Pretty standard, that is my back line as normal, but this is where it could get a little bit more interesting. In terms of strikers, we are going to go, obviously, with R9. He's just 100% the first shout. And I'm, uh, well, in fact, no, I'm not even arguing the second one because Peter Cech is an absolute joke in this game. Them two together are going to be incredible. We're going to go sweaty again for the center mid role in Milinkovic Savic, as he, again, is just limbs, absolutely limbs. Left midwise, Lynx has definitely been a big shout for me, but we have had a couple of players since then. See if we've got anybody in left wingers. Again, this max chemistry is always going to be a great shout. We have got Terrier, who I absolutely adore, but we still need to finish the upgrade to get them done. I think I'm going to go with Lynx again. I don't think I've got anybody else that would kind of rival him. He gets his max chemistry anyway. Right mid, more than likely Salah. This is just my max team, but obviously it's covering uh, R9 up front. That's it. Centre mid wise, I'm thinking De Bruyne more than anything. We haven't finished Zambrotta yet, and I'm pretty sure everybody else is more on the lone pack. Uh, the yeah, the lone icons. No, you know what? Too many. Could be a shout over him. Yeah, we've got a big midfield. Then we've got what six for six for eight. Jeez, that's a big boy. <laughs> Then we've got six foot two. That should be enough, I'd say. We've got one lone player in there. Obviously, the bench can just be whoever you want. Max chemistry. Get it done as quick as possible. I would suggest trying to literally go in as quick now because if people start getting these footy players, y'all yeah, know we've got a footy son. That's going to get increasingly difficult over time if you are not following the same trends as well. Use your custom tactics. Use your best team. Get it out. You've got a lot of matches, so don't stress if you lose one. We've got, in total, what, seven times five matches more than enough. I think that's, what, 35? So you can afford to lose 25 matches every single week to get this done and win 10. Nice and easy. Get it done. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know if you've got a footage in one of these packs as well. Peace.